Breaking news on yet another confrontation between U.S. ships and Iranian-backed Houthi boats in the Red Sea. It is the most aggressive attack since the tensions ramped up a few months ago. NBC White House correspondent Aaron Gilchrist is traveling with the president. He's joining me from St. Croix. So, Aaron, what happened there? Well, Alex, President Biden was briefed on this incident by his national security advisor this morning here on St. Croix. As we understand it from the Pentagon, uh, there, this was a container ship that was moving through the Red Sea when sm far, four small Houthi boats moved toward this ship. The uh, rebels on those boats opened fire on the ship, exchanged gunfire with security forces on the ship uh, before a distress call went out and was responded to by the U.S. Navy helicopters from the Navy moving toward this area. And in an effort to warn off these ships, those rebels opened fire on the Navy helicopters with small arms and with larger weapons, according to this statement from CENTCOM. Uh, of course, those helicopters returned fire. They were able to sink three of those four ships and kill the rebels on board. The fourth ship was able to get away. Now, by our count, this was the 24th uh, attack by Houthi rebels on shipping lanes in the Red Sea since November 19th. A spokesman for the National Security Council appeared on ABC this morning and was asked whether the U.S. is considering a preemptive strike on these Houthi-backed, uh, these Iran-backed rebels in the Red Sea. Here's what he had to say. We're going to do what we have to do to protect shipping. I'm not ruling anything in or out, uh, but we have made it clear publicly to the Houthis. We've made it clear privately to our allies and partners in the region that we take these threats seriously, uh, and we're going to make the right decisions going forward. Now, this ship was actually uh, came under attack yesterday as well. So two attacks in two days by this Maersk-owned ship. That shipping company has said that it is pausing all of its operations through the Red Sea uh, for at least 48 hours. The second time it's had to do that in a month. The big concern here, Alex, is that these attacks, mostly by drone and by missile, up until today will continue in that area and could have a major impact on economic activity moving through the Red Sea.